Dats Nuts and welcome to Dats Review Channel. In this video I'm going to be talking about the Cosmo stems, particularly the carbon fibre uh, plane and the carbon fibre colour and also the titanium and the super dura lumen stems which are the metal versions. I've already done quite a comprehensive review on the Cosmo stems and flight systems so I'll just put a link up to that. Um, I went into quite a lot of detail in that review for the sizes and everything but I'll just do a quick recap. But anyway, Cosmo sent me everything you see in this video and everything that you see is going to be given away in a competition. Um, I'm not sure what the competition is going to be yet so I don't know if it's just going to be for the forum only or if it's going to be on the YouTube channel. Uh, I, I haven't got a clue but I think it will be tied in with one of the uh, competitions on the telly so it could be for the world championships I don't know yet and the Cosmo stems are available in eight sizes and you've got a spinning stem or a locked stem and you also get them in different shapes there's a, a normal a slim and a hybrid I'll show you a bit more of that in a minute but the carbon fiber ones they come in packs of four and you can get them in the plain black which is the plain carbon fibre or ones that have been coloured. Uh, the plain ones are £24 and the black ones are £25.50 if I can remember right. And the metal ones, you've got the Super Dura Lumen and they're £29. And the titanium ones, I'm not sure what they are in the UK because I couldn't see any shops that had them in the UK. but when I was looking at shops around on the net, the prices seemed to range from uh, around 65 to around 80 pound. So very expensive for the titanium ones, but they should last you a lifetime basically. So if you're pretty sure of the kind of stem that you like and you want something that's gonna last for a long, long time, then you might wanna splash out on a titanium. But the uh, Super Dual Lumen ones should be pretty long lasting as well and I know quite a few people have been using them on the forum. So what I'll do now is I'll just show you a close up of the stems and we'll weigh the titanium and the Dura Lumen ones and see how they compare. And also I'm going to try breaking one of the carbon stems to see how tough it is. So like I said everything you see here apart from those stems and those flights and these will be given away in a forum uh, competition and also these um, Cosmo conversion points uh, I'm going to review them separately and I'm going to see if I can break those carbon stems should be able to I think <laughs> but I'm going to be testing them these ones so you won't want them when I've been using them but because I've already done a comprehensive review like I said I'm not going to focus much on the flights other than to say that since I did the review before there's a lot more colours out now and there's a lot of uh, designs on the flights but I'll put, put up a link in the description so you can check all them out so I'm mostly focusing on the uh, the newer stems these weren't out when I did the review I don't think so anyway there's a I think there's about eight different uh, lengths of stem um, the most popular ones are three four and five and I've got mostly yeah just fours and fives here and there's two types of stem there's a locked stem and a spinning stem so basically that just means that on the locked stem the flight is uh, it stays put it doesn't move and on the spinning stem it can move freely but I'll show you that in a minute I've already sh showed you all that on the other review leg but I'll just go over that again um, from I think it's five upwards the carbon stems are slightly different they've got a kind of a groove along its length and that's not on the number fours and they're available in the plain black color and then you've got a kind of a grey bluey colour and then a white colour uh, there's quite a lot to talk about about so I'll probably just put pictures up so you can have a better look at them and there's three types of stem 
you've got a normal, you've got a hybrid, which is, where is it? Oh, that one, I already had it. So that's your normal stem, and that's your hybrid, and you've also got the slim. And the titanium stems only come in slim, but the super duralumin, they come in the normal. And also the titanium ones have got the rainbow colour and the natural silver colour. So this is the Super Dura Lumen Normal Spinning Stem and when you open the pack it's got this kind of a I think it's cork holding the stems in place and you also get some extra O-rings and this is the number 5 and it's about the equivalent of a, an in-between size stem so that's an in-between stem pretty close to that and because this is the spinning stem when you put your, your fit flight on it does exactly as you would expect it to spins but uh, there's a slight kind of rattle but it's not dead like a loose feel but the thing with the spinning stems is the idea is it's meant to move out of the way when the darts come in and hopefully prolong the uh, life of the flight so this is the locked number five so when you push that on doesn't spin but there's a not a massive amount of difference between the two when you look at it you may be able to tell what the difference is and it's basically the, just the top of the stem on the spinning stem it's curved and on the locked stem it's flat and straight which basically is what makes it tighten up against the inside of the flight so not a lot of difference really just to give you a quick look at the carbon stems you get four in the pack uh, and the hybrids hybrids are kind of a mix between the normal and the slim uh, the slim stems are quite popular because with them being slim probably lighter but if you get the normal Cosmo slim stems they're kind of flexible so again the flexibility is meant to prolong the life of the stems and the flights but if you don't like a slim flight you can always go for the hybrid which is kind of a mix between the normal and the slim but it's all personal preference and the titanium ones you got a very nice a rainbow colored one now obviously these are expensive stems but once you've been playing with the Cosmo fit flight system if it's a system that you like and you know which size stem is your best for your setup and you're going to be using it long term then if you get one of the more expensive uh, stems like the titanium or the super dura lumen then should last you a very long time I would have thought that, uh, unless you have some kind of a freak accident it's probably going to last you for years and years so depends on whether you want to outlay that initial amount of money but should be a long lasting stem so that's the titanium rainbow slim spinning stem and there's no flex at all on that really it's just solid but that should be a long lasting stem that and obviously with that amount of money you would want it to be a long lasting stem looks very nice though with them colours on it so what I'll do next then is I'm going to try and break that carbon stem right I've got a, a normal fit shaft 
gear here and the carbon stem. Now another thing with the uh, carbon stems I don't know if you can see I don't know if it can get into focus here but there's a little number 4 on the stem which tells you the size and you should be able to see it now just about there I don't think it's on this uh, fit shaft gear but it's just uh, a little handy way of knowing what size the stem is and it's completely carbon the whole stem and it's not as flexible there's a, just a tiny little bit of flex but the, the normal fit shaft gear is quite flexible so let's see if I can break this one first Right, where's my dart? I'll stick it in the dart. I have a feeling that uh, a short, sharp shock is probably what's going to get it mostly, but... <laughs> yep. This feels like rubber. <laughs> It's not breaking but <laughs> taking a fair bit of effort. So I finally broke it. <laughs> I used my mouth to get my teeth to get it open. Put my tongue on the end bit and it was hot. <laughs> so this is the carbon shaft now. Oop. Now that broke easy. <laughs> so that didn't last as well as the uh, fit shaft gear. There you go. Is that because it's a slim? Could be. But I had a feeling that a short, sharp thing we would break it. But I don't think I can do that to the titanium ones. So just as a quick comparison, I'm going to compare this uh, in-between nylon stem with a 100 micron flight and see how that compares. So that's 1.82 grams. And this is the Super Dura Lumen number no. 5 Cosmo in the normal shape and the standard Fit Flight Air. And that is 2.8. 8 or 2.87 so it's about a gram heavier um, and this is the carbon fiber number five so if I put the flight on that and wear this one so that's 1.62 so obviously the carbon fiber stem is lighter than the nylon stem but I'll just uh, compare that exactly 1.11 for the nylon stem and one gram for the carbon fiber so if you need lighter stems the carbon fiber must be the lightest uh, so let's compare the other carbon stems so that's the normal number four that's 0.97 and that's the hybrid number four uh, lighter again 0.79 and this is the slim titanium number four and obviously that one's a little bit heavier 1.9 but that's obviously the strongest stem you can get Right, so like I said, I'm going to try the Super Dura Lumen number no. 5 in the normal, uh, but this is the spin version. Uh, it looks very nice with these green flights on. 
really nice looking uh, shiny silvery stem so be a shame when it gets a bit uh, knackered but hopefully these ones should last a long term so let's give them a throw like I said there's a, a slight kind of loose slightly rattly feel but it's not excessive like on some spinning stems but well, obviously you don't need to buy the spinning stems if you don't want that I mean the locked stems will be just like a normal um, like a normal setup but I think obviously a lot depends on how you throw the dart and what kind of setup you like anyway so some people um, probably think the spinning stems give them an advantage and a lot of times things are mental so if you think that's an advantage then just carry on using it but the only thing I can see is it may prolong the life of the flight the fact that it spins but whether it makes any difference um, on deflections that's another matter um, the thing with deflections is they can be good or they can be bad so you can have a good deflection or a bad deflection and it's difficult to say whether a spinning flight is going to benefit you in that way so it's more the fact to me that it may prolong the life of the flight is probably the reason why I would go for them uh, anyway I'm not going to throw them much more basically it's just like a normal setup uh, like I said very nice looking stem um, I've used Cosmos before and I've probably had quite a lot of sets so I've had some that have lasted for weeks and weeks and if you're unfortunate you might get some that break quite quick but a lot of people use them and like them uh, but like I said I've already done like a comprehensive review so this was more about updating about the stems and what I would say is if you want a light weight stem then obviously the carbon ones are the best um, the slim ones are obviously the lightest but I'm not so sure of the durability of them I think the carbon normal and the carbon hybrid will be a lot better choice but if you really need um, a super light stem then you still might want to go for the carbon slims but if you want a um, stem that's going to last longer and if you've been using the fit flight system for a while um, I would say the Super Dura Lumen are probably the best value because I can't really see these breaking. It's like a, a, a slightly stronger version of aluminium. But if you want the ultimate, then go for the titaniums. But like I said, they're really expensive, but they should last a lifetime. So that's the end of the review. Thanks for watching.